Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Fullerton and today I want to talk about using voltmeters and ammeters to analyze circuits. So our main objective is going to be to effectively use and analyze voltmeters and ammeters. A voltmeter is a tool that's used to measure the potential difference between two points in a circuit. And on the right here you have a multimeter which can be used as a voltmeter and ammeter. It can measure resistances, but we're going to talk about it first in voltmeter mode. Voltmeters have an extremely high resistance and they have this high resistance so that they minimize the effect they have on the circuit. They have very little current flow through the voltmeter and therefore the circuit remains unchanged or very close to unchanged. Now when you connect a voltmeter in a circuit, the voltmeter has to be connected in parallel with the element to be measured. An alternate current path around the element that you're trying to measure should be created as it goes through the voltmeter. If you have it installed correctly, if you remove the voltmeter from the circuit, the circuit would still function. If we look over here on the right at this example circuit, you can see we have a voltmeter that's connected in parallel with the lamp. So the voltmeter will measure the potential difference across the lamp. It'll measure the potential difference from one side to the other side of the lamp. We've created an alternate path. If, however, we were to remove the voltmeter, we would have an open down here in this loop, so no current would flow there, but we would still have current flowing through the bulk of our circuit, through a complete path there. So removing the voltmeter, our circuit should still operate. An ammeter, on the other hand, is a tool used to measure the current in a circuit. Ammeters have a very low resistance, and they have a low resistance to minimize the potential drop through the ammeter. And once again, the goal is to minimize the ammeter's impact on the circuit. Because they have such a low resistance, if you hook them up incorrectly, it is very easy to go break these devices. So knowing how to connect them is very important. Ammeters are connected in series with the circuit, so that the current to be measured flows through the ammeter. It must be broken in order to correctly insert the ammeter. If you can insert an ammeter without breaking the circuit, then you're doing something wrong. If you remove the ammeter, the circuit or that portion of the circuit you're trying to measure should stop functioning. It should have an open. So in the diagram at the right in our schematic, we have current flowing through the ammeter and through the rest of the circuit. We have a closed loop pass, so we're measure measuring the total current through the circuit. If we were to remove the ammeter, we'd have an open circuit, no current would flow. Let's take a look at some sample problems to see how this really works. In the diagram, possible locations of an ammeter and voltmeter are indicated by those numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Where should an ammeter be located to correctly measure the total current, and where should a voltmeter be located to correctly measure the total voltage? Well, in this case, if we want to measure the total current, Let's take a look. We have a positive and negative on our battery there. And if we want to measure the total current, we realize that we have current flowing and current flowing through this loop and back. So if we want the total current, we need to put the ammeter in line with a portion of the circuit where all of the current flows. That looks like our only choice there is 1. So our ammeter must be located at 1. We can get rid of choices 2 and choice 3. Now we want a voltmeter to measure the total voltage. So our choices where we can measure the total voltage, it has to be in parallel. So I could pick number 4 and that'll measure the total voltage, or number 3, that'll measure the total voltage. If I were to place it at 2, however, that's not going to work. That's in series, not parallel. So it can't be 2. That leaves us answer 1 is the only option, the ammeter at 1 and the voltmeter at 4. That'll give us the total current through the circuit and the total voltage, the total potential difference. Let's take a look at another one. Which circuit diagram correctly shows the connection of ammeter A and voltmeter V to measure the current through and potential difference across resistor R? Now in this case, we want the current through R and let's take a look. If we look at the circuit, the current through R means that the ammeter must be in series with the loop through R. And the voltmeter, if we want the potential difference across R, must be in parallel. The only option that shows this is down here at number 4. Our voltmeter, you can see, is in parallel with R. 
if we were to remove the voltmeter from the circuit, it would still function. And the ammeter is in series with R. If we were to remove the ammeter, we wouldn't have any current flow through the circuit. It would create an open. So our correct answer must be number four. Problem three. A student uses a voltmeter to measure the potential difference across a resistor. To obtain a correct reading, the student must connect to the voltmeter. And our choices are in parallel with the resistor, in series with the resistor, before connecting the other circuit components, or after connecting the other circuit components. And as we've learned already, voltmeters are always connected in parallel with the circuit element to be measured. In this case, correct answer would be choice A. Let's check out a couple more. Which statement about ammeters and voltmeters is correct? The internal resistance of both meters should be low. No, that's not true. Two, both meters should have a negligible effect on the circuit being measured. Absolutely. We want to be able to measure the circuit without changing its performance significantly. So two is correct. Three, the potential drop across both meters should be as large as possible. Nope, not that one. And four, the scale range on both meters must be the same. No reason the scale range has to be the same. So our best answer, and the only one that's correct, is choice two. Both meters, ammeters and voltmeters, should be designed and inserted into the circuit to have a negligible effect, a very, very small or minimal effect on the circuit. Hopefully this gets you started on voltmeters and ammeters. If you're in doubt, make sure when you're setting up these and actually using them in the lab that you get help before you turn on your circuit because it's very easy to damage these sensitive electrical components, these sensitive electrical tools if they're inserted into the circuit incorrectly. Voltmeters go in parallel with the element to be measured, and ammeters go in series with the element to be measured. Good luck. If you need more help, check out aplusphysics.com. Thanks, and make it a great day.